Running on a platform of combating poverty and corruption, ultra-conservative cleric Ibrahim Raisi has the backing of Iran's supreme leader. In remarks, the Ayatollah has called Raisi a trustworthy and highly experienced person. In 2016, Hamenei appointed Raisi head of the Imam Reza Charity Foundation, which oversees various businesses and endowments in the country. Hamenei also made him head of the judiciary in 2019, two years after he lost his presidential challenge to Hassan Rouhani in the last election. Raisi is seen as uh, somebody who's close to Iran's supreme leader, Ali Khamenei. Um, he is conservative, ideologically supportive of the revolution, um, and also religious. So he ticks off a lot of boxes. But Raisi's candidacy has also thrust his role in the mass executions of political prisoners during the 1980s back into view. He's never publicly addressed his involvement, nor has the government ever fully acknowledged that the killings took place. Raisi himself also faces international criticism for his role in a series of mass executions in 1988 in Iran. Those executions saw at least 5,000 people killed at the tail end of the Iran-Iraq war. Raisi also is now sanctioned by the U.S. government. And if he wins, he would be the first Iranian president to come into office already sanctioned by the West. As a hardliner, Raisi firmly belongs to the ultra-conservative camp that distrusts the West, especially the United States.